Well, here we are at the end of our day and the beginning of our night. And the beginning of our night, right. And celebrating October 8th, the day before, it's Johnny's birthday. It's Johnny's birthday. And we are here to wish you all the very best. Thank you, George. Yes. Uh, we just decorated the altar with twin flame candles and we're just like sprucing up the, the place in, a, in preparation. Yeah. It's looking very beautiful. It's looking super groovy. Oh, Harman. Yeah. Uh, the, he gets the twin flame candles in front of him. Yeah, he was very, uh, you know, Ellie and the rest of them, they're very laid back. But Herman is like, Man, I want my face there. Yeah, that's his personality all the way. My other dogs were girls. They were all very mellow. Herman was like, look at me, look at me, 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 me. Well, he was very beautiful. Yeah, still is. Yeah, he was our beauteous lad. My only boy dog. My own, well, Butchie, no. I had some boys, but they were, like, secondhand. Um, nah, I, I had boys and girls. I had everybody, right, honey? Yeah. Boys and girls together. John, what are you saying that you would like to do tonight? I, we are watching The Breakfast Club. <laughs> if you will recall, I am a big fan of, kind of, as Lynn would say, gay. <laughs> gay. Uh, TV and movie viewing, right? He loves teen movies <laughs> and like Dawson's Creek. Like a while back, we, we you know, we watched every episode of Dawson's Creek, Felicity, uh, you know, uh, my so-called life, Freaks and Geeks. John loves that stuff. And so do I <laughs> love it. Um, we're both very romantic. We both uh, like, love hearkening back to our teenage and, you know, younger years when we were, well, hormonal, you know, highly hormonal and very uh, sensitive and uh, and passionate, right? And missing each other very much, the physicality of each other as the one, right? Yes, always knowing that there was one out there and you just, where are they? Yeah. So, of course, John always guides me to free links for old classic movies. I mean, you can't get these without paying for them on Amazon Prime. Even if you have Prime, it's not streaming. you got to pay for it. The Breakfast Club, we just found a great free link, and we posted it on our movie page. And we are going to go watch The Breakfast Club. This is Johnny's birthday Eve wish. Yes. I'm so excited. I I love watching movies like this with you. I love it. Yeah, he does. He does. That was a great day of uh meditation, prayer, singing, uh just being so in love. Mm. You are you're on fire. Yeah. Mm. I was just, you know, reminding Lena of when we reconnected and how crazy passionate we were for each other. And we and that hasn't changed. Yeah, it's only gotten more, more loving and more deeper and deeper. Oh, boy, don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. Should we sing in trouble again? No, I don't think we should. Maybe just a little version. Of, oh, well, if that's what you want to do. In trouble again. God help me, I'm in trouble again. <laughs> I can't. You can't. No. I'm too in love. Really. I'm too in love. Yeah, this is crazy. And we have, it just so happens we have the place all to ourselves today um chris had an appointment where he had to go do some errands with his brother and um johnny you know he planned it all and it's very exciting to have this time alone together um it's like it used to be when chris was working during the day and john would grab me <laughs> oh jesus christ we had a hell of a schedule back then 444 four, four, yeah we we had just reconnected and uh, Christopher would leave for work around noon. He, he and then he, out of spite, he would leave later and later every day. Yeah, 
Like, he didn't want to leave me alone with John. Yeah, it was weird. It was a weird scene, you know. Um, this is not an easy situation that we've had to, everybody has had to acclimate to, right? But but I'm happy to say that it, it really has worked out for the better of everybody concerned. Yes, even Christopher, because Christopher has his own life path with his own twin flame that he has to reconnect with. Um, and he's doing that, but on his, at, in his own time, but, uh, right, Sandy? Yes. Yes. And he, our time together is very precious and he's just, you know, he gives you guys a hard time because that's him, right? It's Christopher. He, and John loves fighting with him. You know, that's his Stewie. He fights with him. <laughs> Anyway, we get back to what... Oh, so we used to have, me and John, uh, just to be alone together, um, we used to get up in the morning and uh, drive the car to the either the cemetery or the beach and do tarot card readings for like two hours, waiting for Christopher to leave for work. <laughs> we would bring Herman a lot of the time, but sometimes we left Herman home with Chris because... I think I had the feeling that Chris needed the dog, and he did. Herman was the best friend for him in so many ways. Like those two, they were they were a pair. Yeah, I gave Christopher his son. I really did. You did. I gave him his his beloved son in this life, and that was Herman. Um, it's true. Mm. It's true. Uh, so then we'd come back home and Christopher would be leaving for work and John would, sometimes he would just throw me on the kitchen floor mm -hmm. and we'd have, we'd have, we'd make love for hours, not on the kitchen floor. That would just be the, like probably the first one when we first got in the house kind of, but it wasn't always, no. I do remember, that, especially that one time, though, with the kitchen floor. That was unreal. Yeah. A lot of times the kitchen, yeah, the kitchen chair. I'd be putting down groceries or whatever, and he'd throw me in the kitchen chair. It's very strong. When he comes to passion, um, he really has control. Mm -hmm. She gives it to me, you know, and yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to, 738, <laughs> 18, yeah. Uh... Well, so what are we getting at? Well, uh, I said to Lena before, remember, we used to make love for eight hours, eight hours straight. That I would start feeling like I was killing her. I, I would start feeling like, OK, I'm brain damaged. I am becoming brain damaged from this. I don't know that this is any good for me. Yeah. And actually, we went through a period where mother and father were really giving John hell. Mother and father God. Yeah. Yeah, they said, you have to, you have to stop. And he wasn't, I wasn't always being a good guy about it. And I was like, she, she wants this too. And we were without each other for so long. And I don't care. This is the way, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, mother and father are so loving. And, and they were just like, well, how does, how do you feel about it, Lena? And I said, I, I you know, I belong to him. I know that. So I don't, I'm not going to refuse him, you know, and I love him too. And I, and I do, <laughs> I, I hear you, John. He's, he's, John makes the building creak. He makes, he actually makes the, the wall crack really loud in the living room. Yeah. And every so often t today, it really cracked loud. There's a portal over there. Yeah. There's portals all over. This apartment is complete. Is one big portal for the other outer realm. There it goes again. Do you ever get spooked? Why would I get spooked? I sit here talking to you all day. If I was going to get spooked, I'd be in big trouble, right? And I just like to hear you say that you're not. You were never afraid of me. Never, not once, right? No, I was never afraid of you. And you didn't think there was anything straight now. Our love life always felt like the most natural thing in the world to me. And I never felt like a couple of times I did say, is this right? 
because it was too wonderful. Mm. Mm. What are you saying? You're just nodding your head. Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling too. But we both went what seemed like a lifetime, and it was a lifetime, without each other. You know, the, the plan was to meet up in that in, in, in that life as as John Lennon and Lena Linan. And uh I really felt like I was robbed, you know. I worked so hard. I mean I'm not complaining at all. Praise be God and mother. I'm I'm really happy and uh I know you are too. Because this is a miracle. It's a miracle. This connection is a beautiful miracle. But for a while, I, I felt pretty sorry for myself, and I thought, well, gee, you know, I guess I really fucked up bad, and I'm being punished because I, no Lena for me, no Lena for me. Oh, Johnny, you see, he's crying, he's tearing up, and look, and look what's happening to the to the camera; it's getting all blurry. Oh, it's so weird! My God, yeah. But anyway, there is a reason for everything. And when one door closes, another door opens. And on the eve of my assassination, I knew that that final door to my life as Lennon was going to be opening and closing. I knew. Don't ask me how I knew. I wasn't afraid. But I did wonder. How? How will this work? How will this play out? How will Lena and I finally get this thing together? I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. And I'm so in love with you. Happy birthday, honey. I'm, I feel the same way. You always say the nicest speeches, and I just... You do too, do I? I don't know if I say as good speeches as you do. Doesn't this remind you of the way the camera looks right now? Doesn't it remind you of like going down a highway? Like, I'm coming right at you, baby. 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 Here I am.